Mic check, one, two, one, two. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tank Be Chopping, and I'm back with another haircut tutorial. All right, guys, so what we're going to be doing on this cut is a number five on top, low fade, lining up my client, you know what I'm saying? We're going to add a little bit of enhancements in the front just to make the line look a little sharper. But nonetheless, guys, let's go ahead and get into this haircut. As you can see, I have my number five on my clipper. These are my new custom FX from Babyliss. And uh, I do have the uh, the gold wedge blade on them. A lot of people ask me how, how I feel about it. And I'm not going to lie, guys. The gold wedge blade, to me, it works. For me, it works good. You know what I'm saying? I know some people feel a certain way about it. But me personally, I really enjoy the gold wedge blade. But like I was saying, guys, as y'all can see, I'm going uh, I'm going over the top of my client's head. Uh, you know, going against the grain, across the grain. Just trying to get it all, all down to that desired length. And then after this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually put a number four guard on the sides uh, just to debulk the sides of my client's hair to give myself an even playing field and make it easier for me to fade into. So that's what I am doing here, guys. This is my number four guard. If you are curious, I am using the new Babyliss Premium Guards. Babyliss or Babyliss, however you want to say it. I like to say Babyliss. It just, it just rolls off the tongue a little better. But as you can see guys, I got my number four guard on my clipper and I'm coming right up to that parietal ridge area using a slight flick out motion. And I am kind of uh, doing like the shape of my low fades. Uh, really not too much on my client right here because the way his hair grows, I have to bring that four kind of high just to fade all that in and then everything else I do the shape of my client's head. So now I'm taking my uh, trimmer. Once again, guys, this is my custom FX trimmer. Uh, I got the same blue, uh, the same blues on it with a little bit of red. I got the original blade on it. I didn't switch the blade up. And I'm setting in my low fade guideline. And as you can see, we come over the ear, drop it down below the occipital bone in the back, and then we raise it on the opposite side, make these both sides connect. And now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna use that shaver. And once again, guys, this is my custom FX shaver. So uh, I'm going up to that line. The closer I get to that bald guideline, I am using a slight flick out motion and relieving some pressure. That way, you know, that way this line isn't too, too harsh and it makes it easier for me to get rid of if I need to get rid of it later on in this haircut. So in case you are interested in these tools, guys, you can actually go to the custom uh, FX, uh, get the custom FX app or the website. You could do it on the website also on a desktop version, but it's easier to get the custom FX app, download it. You can create your own custom FX uh, clippers, trimmers, and shaver, and you can use my discount code TANK10. Save yourself a little bit of money, you know what I'm saying? But jumping back into this haircut, as you can see, I have my lever all the way open. I'm setting in my next guideline. I'm coming up about three quarters of an inch or so. And I am still following that same shape I created when I created my first initial bald guideline. Uh, ooh, I said that weird. My first initial bald guideline. Now I got my number one guard on my clipper, lever all the way open. Uh, continuing to follow that same shape, coming up about three quarters of an inch or so with this uh, in this section also. And if you want to, you can go ahead and start fading this line out. But I'm going to go ahead and just set in my guideline and then I'm going to move on to my next step. Which is my one and a half guard lever all the way open. And I'm following the same shape once again, guys. Coming up about three quarters of an inch one more time. And now I'm going to use my number three guard lever open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start fading down using some down fading techniques. So I, you know, I debulk the sides with that number four. So now I have my three all the way open coming right below what I do with my number four guard. And I'm going to work my way down, meaning this is my three open. I'm going to close my three and then I'm going to use my two guard and then my one and a half guard again just to clean up any discrepancies. And then I'll, I'll detail it, you know, uh, as needed. And I like to do this with a lot of my steps, guys. Even if I do fade out the bottom lines first, I like to fade up to like a one and a half or a two. And then I start doing some down fading technique. And the reason for that is it just helps keep my fades where I want them. Helps me not go too high. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes if I just, you know, put in my next guideline with my next guard and keep working my way up, sometimes I tend to push my fades a little higher than I like. So this is the reason why I do it like this. Uh, it's not for everybody. A lot of people get lost when they're doing some down fading. Uh, for me, I tend to get lost also if I fade all the way down to like a one or a half so I found a method that works perfectly good for me and basically this is what I've been doing for most of my barbering career guys I fade up to like a one and a half or a two and then the rest is just some down fading 
But nonetheless, guys, this is my one and a half guard. Started off with my lever open, then closed, clean up these areas. And y'all saw me show the, you know, I showed the camera the, the three guard, then the two guard. So y'all saw what I was doing with those guards. Now this is my zero guard or my one sixteenth guard. And I'm going in with my lever all the way open and I'm attacking that line that y'all see me uh, attacking right here. It's basically the line between my lever open and my one and my one guard open. So I'm going in with my lever open, attacking that line, and then I'm gonna close my lever as needed to try to get that line completely out that way that this phase starts to uh, blend smoothly together and remember guys you don't have to speed through any of these steps take your time make sure you're being really consistent with it uh, getting everything as clean as you need to clean uh, as clean as you need to get it that way it looks nice uh, now my next step is trying to get rid of this bottom guideline so I'm going in with my lever all the way closed and I'm just flicking at that bottom line. And as you can see, it's it's, get, it's getting rid of that line for the most part. I am going to need to adjust my lever as needed. As you saw me do right there, I did open my lever. Now I'm just doing some small lever play, cleaning up these darker areas, using the corners of my blade, barely tapping some of these lines. And uh, that's really helping this blend come together. And this is my one and a half guard doing some more detail work guys i'm going back in uh, obviously i felt that this fade didn't look as good as i can get it to look so i'm going back in cleaning everything up you know what i'm saying just switching through guards that was my 1.5 this is my one guard and remember guys when you're detailing you can be as detailed as you need uh, as you need to be a lot of times what i like to do and what's, what other barbers like to do also is whatever steps they took you know fading in the hair previously they do the opposite so they come backwards so meaning you know what i'm saying if you fade up to a three then a lot of people would work their way down going one two three and then coming coming back down three two one and a half etc so you, you got to do what you got to do to make sure that the uh your detail work is on point and make sure it really gets the fade to pop so now we're moving on to the front lineup as you can see i'm starting off in the middle of my client's hairline setting in my first initial guideline and then i'm just going to start working my way over little by little making sure that i'm brushing that hair down because as you can see uh his hair is a little longer on top so if you don't brush that hair down it's going to start to curl up and push up so you want to make sure that you're continuously combing or brushing that hair down that way it lays the way it's supposed to lay and you can actually see how straight it is And as you can see, there is some discrepancy still in this blend. But the thing about it is, is I like to uh, line up my client and that helps me see these discrepancies better. So now that we have somewhat of a more finished product, you know what I'm saying? It looks a little more finished. We can actually see some of these discrepancies a little better, see some of these darker areas a little better. And I can just go back in after I line up my client and clean those sections up. And once again, guys, when you're detailing, you can detail uh, however you need to detail. Sometimes you like it's easier if you start off with a bigger guard. For instance, if you feel that you need the number two guard, start off with a number three first. Or if you feel like you need the 1.5 guard, start off with a number two first just to ensure that you're not taking off too much hair. Now, if you're a little more seasoned and you've been doing it for a while and you can gauge hair length a little better, then you can gauge it and you can use what guard you feel is necessary. But for people who aren't that seasoned in the game yet and can't really gauge what, what size is what use a bigger guard than you originally think just to be on the safe side all right guys so now that we're done with the left side we're going to do the same exact thing to the right side my steps might be slightly different you know what i'm saying i've said it before a lot of times after i record the first side of the haircut the second second side of the haircut i just go into autopilot mode and just start cutting you know what i'm saying but we're going to try to do the same exact steps guys and as you can see this blend is already coming together yes i'm not 100 percent sure uh i'm sorry i'm not 100 percent done with my blend or with my steps yet but the blends already coming together uh yes there is going to be discrepancies in it and i can already see some discrepancies in some of the steps that i've done but i like to just set my steps in first try to knock out the you know like the bulk of my haircut the bulk of my fade and then go back in and detail it and really get that haircut to pop and that's just you know my way of cutting hair that's just the way i do it you don't have to do it that way i know some barbers like to detail as they go and i've done that before but for me that takes me too long you know i, I feel like i get lost in what i'm doing i'm really trying to pay too much attention and one certain thing that sometimes isn't there so i set my steps in you know set my guidelines in fade them out line up my client and then go back in and detail it and that's just what works for me guys
But y'all let me know what y'all think about my custom FX clippers, guys. I did do an unboxing of these videos and I showed you how you can get your own custom FX clippers. Uh, you know, I've done it, I think it was, I think it was last week when I dropped that video. But nonetheless, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think about these clippers. I'm really liking them. Uh the uh the new clippers. Uh I'm sorry, not the new clippers, but the clippers and trimmers both come with uh with new rubber grips the rubber grips aren't out yet i'm not 100 percent sure if they're going to be a little extra i'm sure they're um, they're probably going to be a little extra once you uh cop these off the custom fx app and you add the rubber grips but also guys you can get an upgraded motor on your clipper and i think that it's going to be extra also but it makes the clipper run a lot more smoother i feel that it makes the clipper a better clipper so y'all be on the lookout for that guys make sure y'all download that custom fx app and remember guys when you order off of there you can use my discount code tank 10 it's going to save you some money also if you order any anything off the Babbless Pro website, you can use my discount code Tank10. For instance, I really like my FX3 trimmers. People ask ask me about them all the time. You can get them from there. Use my discount code Tank10. Save yourself uh, a little bit of money. But anyways, guys, going back into this haircut, as you can see, I lined up my client on this side, and now I'm doing some detail work. And you'll have some people say that I, I ate his C-cup, you know what I'm saying, that I pushed it too far back. But you have to line it up with the lightest area, you know what I'm saying? So there was like some really light hair that in my eyes wouldn't have looked that good if I would have lined it up that way. So I did I did push the C-cup up slightly on both sides, but I think that gives it the best look in my opinion. Now I'm going in, I'm adding some enhancements, making sure my client's lineup is nice and sharp. And after I do this, we're going to hit them with uh, some razor work and really get these lines to pop. And remember guys, when you're doing razor work, you want to make sure to stretch that skin uh, stretch that skin tight. That way it lessens the chance of you nicking your client. Hold your uh, razor as flat as you can. Also, you can have a slight angle to it, but not too much, you know what I'm saying? And just just glide that blade, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you're, you're pulling that skin nice and tight. And like I said, guys, that will lessen the chance of you nicking your client. All right, guys, so check it out. This is how my boy Alex came into the shop looking. And this is the finished product. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this haircut in the comment section. If y'all like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if new to my channel, make sure and subscribe one time for your boy. Remember, guys, if you're in the Houston, Texas area and you're trying to get a haircut from your boy, you can go to my website, tankbechopping.com. You can book an appointment there. If you want the haircut to be for YouTube, you can put that in the comment section. But uh, that's basically it, YouTube. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go. Yeah.